You're listening to the ESO Network, your station for all things geek. Hello and welcome to episode 218 of the Soul Forge podcast. Welcome to the Soul Forge, a place of silent mystery, quiet contemplation, and outright mayhem. Join your host, Sean Vanderloo, as he guides you through the adventures of living. Together, we'll talk about life and love, sex and dating, joy and heartache, memories and loss, and so much more. Don't worry, it's not nearly as pretentious as it sounds. Get ready for life, the universe, and everything on The Soul Forge. Hey gang, it's Sean back at you with another episode of The Soul Forge. What are we talking about this week? bunch of random things no major through topic once again because there hasn't been anything to really discuss so a lot of little mini topics this week almost like a quick shots from episode 113 uh but not quite it's uh, not separate recordings it's just me and a flow of consciousness Uh, i've written down a few things and we're just gonna go from there so let's get right into it as i'm recording this it is Tuesday afternoon. This comes out Thursday, September 9th. So uh, it's two days before release day. And what's going on in the world? All kinds of fun, crazy things. But uh, guess what? Last Friday was my 45th birthday. So that's what I'm going to talk about first. So was it the best birthday ever? The best birthday in the entire world? No. No, it wasn't. And why is that? Well, let me explain it to you. I have a feeling that I I should have been more miserable than I was, but I wasn't. I took it all in stride. So last Friday, I went to work. Should have taken it off, but I didn't because I'm a good little doobie. So I went to work and worked and worked and did all the mail. Uh, Oh, yeah. For those of you who don't know, I'm a mailman and I deliver the mail during the day and I listen to podcasts. Also, I record podcasts because you know why? You're listening to one right now. That's how you know I'm doing that. Uh, So anyway, I worked uh, and then I came back from my shift and I had to put four sets of flyers together for the following Tuesday. That's actually today. So what we do after our uh, walking part of our shift is if there's flyers, we have to set them up for the next delivery day. And since Monday was Labor Day holiday, it was Tuesday. And it was supposed to rain like uh, half an inch of rain. And it it, it didn't actually uh, do any raining uh, until the afternoon and it did some sprinkles, but it didn't pour like it was supposed to. So that was good. But on Friday, I, I did my shift. I spent an hour collating four sets of flyers and they were heavy flyers, not just like a couple little piddly uh, pizza flyers. No, no, Canadian Tire uh, flyers. That's uh, for our American and uh, overseas listeners. Uh, Canadian Tire is like uh, an automotive uh, department store. And it's a big, thick flyer, almost like a, uh, well, not like a magazine, but uh, it, it's thick enough. So the flyers are heavy. So I did that. Uh, and then I rushed, rushed home, changed my clothes, and we had to go to Julie's grandma's funeral, uh, which happened to be on my birthday. So, oh boy, that was fun. Everybody in Julie's family is French. I'm not. Uh, The priest conducted the ceremony in French, and I probably understood 2% of what he said, but it seemed to be a nice ceremony. Uh, It was sunny and warm, not too hot, so the the weather was okay. And then we were going to, after the ceremony, go for brunch, not brunch, uh, Was it brunch? No, it was a buffet. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, Because uh, we went to Siva's restaurant here in Timmins, Ontario, Canada, because that was Grandma's favorite restaurant. So as part of uh, the honoring Grandma, we went to Siva's, had the buffet, and the buffet was horrendous. Uh, Normally, Siva's is a, a good place to eat, but he recently opened up a second restaurant, so I guess this one is not his top priority anymore. Uh, and everybody agreed that the food was atrocious, and we're never going back. Uh, so that was my birthday. I worked, I did flyers, I went to a funeral, and I had a lousy dinner. So, yay. Not, so not the most exciting. 
Uh, but it was, uh, it, I took it all in stride. It was kind of funny. I just kind of laughed because, yeah, typical. So then we get home after all that stuff and I get to open up my present. And what did Julie get me? She got me wireless airpods for my iphone uh because i've been using wired things and i get all uh, tangled up all the time and it's a it's a pain in the arse so she asked me what i wanted and i said that i would like a kick-ass pair of headphones wireless headphones so she went out and got me the apple airpods and i set them up over the weekend and today while i was out delivering the mail and listening to podcasts i used them for the first time and these things are freaking fantastic gang uh, i don't know if you've ever used it airpods or whatever but holy crap they, they run on bluetooth uh the the case charges the individual airpods uh separately so you're always uh, fully charged and protected and ready to go listening to podcasts and then i got a text and what happens is the lady i guess it's siri in my headphones says uh you've received a text message from so and so and then she reads it out and then she's like would you like to answer it and i'm like yes So I just said what I wanted to say, and after I said it, she said, this is what you said. And she reads it back to me, and then she says, are you ready to send it? And all I have to do is say, send it. And it sends. And I don't have to take the phone out of my pocket, which is awesome, because I don't bring my glasses when I'm walking, uh, and it's often hard to read text messages because my eyes are failing. They're getting really bad. So anyway, these AirPods are awesome. And I can use them for all kinds of things, and it's great, and uh, I like them. So it was a good purchase, a great present. I appreciate it. Thanks, Julie. You rock. Uh, What else happened today? Uh, Oh, I saw a bear on my route when I was delivering the mail. Uh, I was picking up another set of mail from a corner relay box where they dump your mail for you so you could pick it up several times throughout the day. And I'm looking at the guy across the street because he's gesturing, and I thought he was waving. And after a few moments, I I look over. And there's a bear in his front yard, which I hadn't noticed because, uh, once again, I wasn't wearing glasses and uh, I don't pay attention to things, I guess. So it was a baby bear. I took a 15 second video of it and then uh, the cars were coming and it got scared and ran away. But that was cool because there's so many bears in town. I never get to see them, though. I always hear about them, but I never see them. And I finally got to see a bear. So yay, that was exciting. Uh, what else? Uh, speaking of birthday stuff, remember on my last podcast last week, I talked about how I hadn't talked to my dad in forever and he called me a dumbass because of the sleep lab picture. Well, he sent me a happy birthday text, which I didn't expect. Uh, that was it. Just happy birthday. So I said, thanks. And there was no response and I don't expect there to be. So whatever. His birthday comes up in November. So I'll send him the same generic happy birthday message, and we'll see what happens. Uh, Brother Curtis did say my dad wants to talk to me and hash some of this uh, crap out that uh, seems to be causing our uh, relationship from, I don't even know, getting good or being there at all or or whatever. But anyway, that's that's what's happening. I spoke briefly to my dad, got to see a bear, got some cool AirPods, uh, things are good. Uh, got rid of most of those flyers today. The rain held off quite a bit, so it wasn't a horrendous day like it could have been. So yay. Uh, what else? Let's talk about the vaccine controversy. There's so many anti-vaxxers out there. Uh, and the thing is, their their logic is pretty convincing. Well, if I'm unvaccinated and you're vaccinated, why are you scared of me? And blah, blah, blah. And it just goes around and around in circles and blah, blah, blah. So... I'm just tired of it. I, you know, I, I know you have rights to your body and all that stuff, but get your friggin' vaccination because it's exhausting. Here, Dr. Geek will tell you more. Welcome to Dr. Geek's Laboratory. Dr. Geek here with another reminder that the ESO Network is pro-science and pro-vaccine. We urge you to be a superhero and protect yourself, your family, and your fellow geeks around the world. Don't be fooled by the forces of evil and their anti-science misinformation campaign. Consult the latest CDC guidelines, your doctor, and get the COVID vaccine today. And and there you go. So listen to what Dr. Geek says. Get your vaccination. The sooner we get this done, the sooner we don't have to worry about it anymore. And I don't know. I was was holding off on the vaccination for a long time because, yeah, you're right. I don't know what's in it. I was a little bit... Well, not afraid, but concerned. And uh, finally, I said, screw it. Uh, 
I know the the government is uh, going to have mandates and and you can't uh, go to places if you don't have the vaccination and you're going to have a vaccine passport to prove that you have it and oh everything is so exhausting I'm really tired of it. There's a bit of controversy and yesterday on my Facebook I I posted a meme that said hey there's uh, hospitals filled with uh, people dying from covid and the delta variant but how many do you see in the hospital sick or dying from the vaccine none so go get it and i was just trying to cause some controversy and get a conversation going on my facebook and a little bit happened not not a lot but a little bit and i I don't know what the right answer is i I just know i'm tired of it and i i kind of just want it all to be over so there you go uh what else uh etsy shop um, yeah, as many of you know, I'm running an Etsy shop. It's called Rusted Robot Toys. Go check it out. I listed all kinds of pop vinyl figures this weekend. There's also some handmade uh, antler bone jewelry. Uh, there's model kits, knitting needles, all kinds of fun and different things. And, um, yeah. So go check it out. Go buy some things from me or tell your friends if you're uh, if you're not a collector yourself. Uh, because, um, just because, that's all. Uh, I did find out one thing. I've been, uh, what would you call it, monitoring, I guess, when my sales come in. Not during the week, only on weekends. So I usually get one or two sales per weekend, but nothing during the week. So I guess what that means is most Etsy shoppers shop on the weekend. Or uh, they just don't like what I have during the week, I'm not really sure. I don't. I don't know. It's it's still relatively new. It only opened up at the end of June. Uh, I'm up to 28 sales though, so there is that. Uh, that's pretty good, and uh, I'm still enjoying it. And yeah, I'm gonna keep up with it. Uh, this coming October 2nd and 3rd, there's a geek convention in the Sioux, and I'm gonna bring a bunch of stuff and try to sell it there for extra income as well, and also get rid of my 30 years of collectibles because nobody in my family wants my stuff so i might as well get rid of it while i'm still young and spry enough in order to do that there you go oh you know what you know what uh we should do we should play a promo for the earth station who podcast so that's what i'm gonna do right here there are a lot of great podcasts that review doctor who episodes in order the earth station who podcast is not one of them Just like the Doctor, we never know where or when we'll end up, but we'll have a lot of fun talking about it. From classic Who to new series and big finish, join the Earth Station Who crew wherever fine podcasts are found. Earth Station Who is a founding member of the ESO Network. And if you like Doctor Who, you'll love Earth Station Who. Go check it out. Okay, so what else? Uh, I don't have too many other things on my list. Uh, As you could tell from my voice i'm still a bit sick uh it's been a week now that i've had the sickness that uh girlie brought home from her little friend uh i'm i'm uh, i'm probably 80 percent better now uh still just a little bit of uh nasaliness in my voice and whatever hopefully it goes away in the next two days because on thursday i have a dentist appointment and uh yeah so i Mm, maybe they'll think it's COVID if I still have it. I don't know, but I've, I'm fully vaxxed, so I should be okay. Uh, what else? Mm, that's it. I think what I'll do now is introduce the first Rusted Robot pop culture segment of the week. Last week I had talked about introducing a pop culture segment to the Soul Forge podcast because for seven years I did the Rusted Robot podcast that ended in April and I still follow pop culture news. Uh, so here we go. Rusted Robot pop culture news of the week. You're listening to WBOT Rusted Robot Radio. <laughs> and what do we got? Well, as I'm recording today, it's the 7th of September. Tomorrow is the 8th, which is the 55th anniversary of Star Trek premiering on NBC in the United States. Uh, It actually premiered in Canada September 6th, two days earlier, but the official premiere worldwide thing is always Star Trek Day is September 8th. Uh, There's supposed to be all kinds of news and excitement and uh, announcements that day. I don't know what to expect, uh, but should be some interesting stuff. So that's cool. 
Also today, they released some still images from Matrix Resurrections, which is the fourth Matrix movie. It's supposed to come out, I think, December uh, 22nd of this year. Uh, the trailer actually comes out on Thursday when this episode comes out, but the episode will already be out by the time the trailer drops, so I'm not going to be able to include it in the MP3 file of this show. So there you go. That's that's all I have for today. Uh, that's this week's pop culture news. Okay, uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about was back to school stuff, because obviously all the people are going back to school now. I guess that's kind of good. Uh, I haven't heard too much about schools being shut down because of COVID or anything like that. But I'm thinking there's two people I know that are around my age that are doing school stuff. And one of them is my buddy Renee, who you've heard on multiple episodes of the podcast. It is actually overdue for a return appearance. Uh, he's been taking some online courses for the last year or so, and he's got about three years left, and he's uh, he's always busy. He's always writing essays and doing papers and all kinds of different projects for this thing, and uh, eventually he wants to get uh, some kind of management university degree to get higher up in his company that he works for, so he's always busy. He's always doing stuff. I don't know how he finds the motivation to do it, so kudos to him. And my brother's wife, who you heard on an episode, uh, I think in April, uh, Kate, she is going back to school to become a nurse. Uh, she's been a personal support worker for the last, I think, 13, 14 years. And uh, she wants to be a nurse now and, uh, I guess, make a little bit more money, have better shifts, better stuff i don't really know maybe uh, maybe uh, if i uh, have a chance when i go to the sioux next month for nerdcon i will do a quick interview with her about how her schooling's going because she hasn't gone to school in years and years so uh today was her first day september 7th and uh she was a little bit nervous but also looking forward to it and i used to always say that i would be a professional student but i've been out of school for more than 20 years now i don't know if i could go back and do it um, I like learning. Uh, I read a lot of uh, different news articles and books and all kinds of stuff like that. But actually going back for formal education, could could I do that? I'm sure I could. Uh, would it be more enjoyable than being a mailman? Oh, for sure it would be. It wouldn't pay as much though, so that's sad. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, just some thoughts randomly that I had. Uh, like I said, no major topic this week. Uh, I I do have a major topic idea for next week. Uh, let's see, is it next week that that's coming out? Or maybe the week after? Uh, all about grief. It's, it's an idea. I'll talk about it on the episode when it comes out, either next week or the week after. But anyway, uh, until next time, you guys and girls out there in podcast land, take care. I hope everything's wonderful. Hope you have a great rest of your week, weekend. Tell everybody you know about Soulforge Podcast. And remember, the world is not full of assholes, but they are strategically placed so that you'll come across one every day. Every day. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Soulforge Podcast. Your support is greatly appreciated, and we hope you'll tune in again next time. Remember that you can visit soulforgepodcast.com for all of our social media links, and don't forget to share the show with everyone you know. The Soul Forge Podcast is your best source for living your best life. Think about it. This has been a broadcast of the ESO Network. Be part of the crew and help support our shows by donating to our ESO Patreon or by shopping for the Tee Public Store which can all be found at www.esonetwork.com. The ESO Network, your station for all things geek.